Hey everybody, how you doing? I know it's a few minutes before the top of the hour, but I wanted to start so everybody had a chance to get on. Happy New Year. I'm excited for you. This year is going to be unbelievable. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be spectacular. Uh, and I want to help you make this event amazing, or this year amazing and spectacular. I've got some really cool stuff to share with you. Um, we're coming in a, a little bit before the top of the hour. We start in actually four minutes. So if you're watching replay, you could probably fast forward four minutes to be able to get to when we start the actual training. In the meantime, as you're jumping on, let us know where you're connecting from. And also, let us know one goal that you have in your network marketing business for 2020. What is one goal? Put in, your com put in the comments, one goal that you have for 2020 that you are going to achieve, that you are committed to achieve. Not a resolution, it is a commitment. It's a decision. You're actually gonna make it happen. And I can't even see through these glasses. So Marina, can you clean these for me, please? <clears throat> Sorry. So let me see some goals. I've got, I've got a monitor up here so I can see what's happening uh, as we wait for people to jump on. It's gonna take three minutes. That's one, one assignment that I have to start this training session is for you to put, some, put a goal in here. The second thing that I would like to give you as an assignment is either smash the share button below this video, share this with your teams. How you can start 2020. Can you change the, the title of this video or not? Well, not when we go live? Okay, um, anyway, we'll change it later. The title of this, this training is How to Start 2020 Fast. How to Start 2020 Fast. Now, if you want to help your teams start 2020 fast, hit the share button and let them know what this training is about. Just take a moment right now, hit the share button right now, let them know right now that we're gonna be starting in two minutes, two minutes. So people wanna walk across the stage uh, to help thousands have a healthy lifestyle. Committed to ranking up to premier director, Melanie says. Um, I'm trying to read them as fast as they're coming in. To buy an apartment, to have $60,000 for that, Victoria says. Um, Touch more lives and build strong teams in several countries. Elizabeth, success loves speed. You're right, you're right. Whether it's a watch party or the share button, smash that share button, smash that watch party. Uh, Fraser Brooks is in the house. How you doing, Fraser? We are starting in a little bit more than one minute. It's gonna be amazing, gonna be awesome. I finally have clean glasses, so I'll be able to read. To be consistent, Reg up in my company, Carly says. Like when you don't know English and listen, still listen to Eric Worre. Aw, that's cool. Hi, uh, Angel. How you doing? Can you scroll up so I can see the, uh, the more, more comments as they're coming up? <clears throat> All right, we got 1,700 on live. Whether you're watching live or replay, this is going to be amazing. We're going to start in 15 seconds. It's going to be awesome. Tell your friends. Hit the share button. Hit the watch party button. And I'm going to give you some training on how you can make this year your best year by starting strong, starting fast, okay? Um, <clears throat> so if you're ready to get started, <clears throat> I'm ready to get started. I'm ready to share some of this stuff with you. And um, <clears throat> I've been thinking about it for the last several days. How do we start this year amazingly? And the best way to do that, I, I mean, there's two things that make me happy. I won't write them down, but I'll just tell you. Two things that make me happy as a person. Number one is growth. If I'm growing, I'm happy. Number two is what this is about today, which is contribution. If I'm contributing to somebody else's life, like your life, if I'm contributing, I'm happy. And I actually found that I have to have both of those in place for me to be truly, have a sense of well-being and be fulfilled. If I'm growing, but I'm not contributing, I'm still a little bit restless. If I'm contributing, but I'm not growing, I feel a little stagnant. Right? But if both of those things are in place, 
man, I got it. I feel like I can really, really run, okay? Growth and contribution. So why, why do I tell you that? Today is about figuring out how I can contribute to your life better. And the best way I know how to do that is to give you some information, give you some training, specifically on how you can really get started fast. I learned something in my early career, and I'm gonna tell you a lot of stories over the course of this training, but <clears throat> I learned something in my early career, and that's this. Success loves speed. Success loves speed. See, we hear these um, fairy tales, these little anecdotes, these little stories that says it's better to be the turtle than to be the rabbit. Slow and steady wins the race. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. You can't be the person that won't give up. Yes, you can. You can be the person that won't give up. All you got to do is be faster than their sorry little slow ass. Seriously. Slow and steady does not win the race. Now, don't get me wrong. Consistency has its place. Some of you have been around this profession for a long time and you've been crawling along. If you're tired of crawling in your network marketing career, this hour is for you. That crawling is not serving anybody. You playing small is not serving the world. It's not serving you. It's not serving your family. It's not serving the world. The world's not served by you playing small. And that's what crawling is. This little inch by inch, it's a cinch. You can't beat me because I'm the turtle. Ah. Now, so, so I'm clear on this. Just understand, consistency has its place. You need to have a baseline of activity that you do every day that you stay consistent with every single day. But occasionally, like now, this first quarter of 2020, you need to shock the system. You need to just have a crazy burst of activity. You need to just totally be obsessed. You need to go all in. You need to do something completely outrageous. And whether you're stuck in your business, or you're stuck in your personal health, or you're stuck in your workouts. Have you ever hit a plateau in your workouts and then you just decide to change the intensity to be able to get past that plateau? Same thing in business and especially in network marketing. Especially in network marketing. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw some art for you. Let's say this is the runway at McCarran International Airport here in Las Vegas, okay? This is the runway at the airport. And here is the airplane. And let's say you're a pilot and you get into this airplane, but you're a part-time pilot and you're only flying 45 minutes to Los Angeles, okay? You're in this airplane, and you're part-time, and you only have a small goal of getting to Los Angeles. So, you're on the runway, you're ready to go, you're strapped in, and you say, okay, because I'm a part-time pilot, I'm going to give it 10% gas. What's going to happen? Will you get movement? Yes. You'll start to move down the runway. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. You'll be the turtle moving down the runway. Congratulations, you have movement. Maybe you get a customer. Maybe you sponsor a person. You know, you go to your company convention, you get movement. But are you ever going to get off the ground with 10% throttle? Yes or no? Are you ever gonna get off the ground? The answer is no you're not gonna get off the ground. You're gonna to get to the end of the runway and you're gonna go, well, this isn't working. Network marketing doesn't work for me. Even though you're part-time, 
even though you're only going to Los Angeles, right? What do you have to do to get off the ground? It's more than 10% to get off the ground. So you say, well, okay, fine, fine. I'll give it 30%. Now you're just going to get to the end of the runway faster. You're going to get burned out faster. You're going to get discouraged faster. You're going to run out of land to be able to make it all happen faster. But you're still not going to get off the ground. That's just the, the, the facts. So to get off the ground, what needs to happen? You need to have 100% effort for takeoff. To get to a different altitude, you have to have a moment where you give it 100% to get to that different altitude. So you say, well, that's not reasonable. Why? I can't give it 100%. I'm part-time. I can't give it 100%. I'm only going to Los Angeles. I can't give it 100%. I've, I, I haven't been a pilot that long. I can't give it 100%. All these different excuses. And you can have the excuses, but you need to own the results, right? So if you don't give it 100%, you're just going to stay on the ground. And you're going to be frustrated. And you're going to be discouraged. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh. I can't get off the ground. Network marketing doesn't work. My plane is broken. My fuel is, has a problem with it. My compensation plan doesn't work. My product doesn't sell itself. All these excuses. My upline doesn't helping me. None of those things are the real problem. The problem is you haven't given it 100%. So, some of you are part-time, you're a little overwhelmed, you're just like, ah! How do I give it 100% when I'm part-time and I'm a single mom and I'm dealing with all this stuff and I've got all these different obligations in my life? How do I figure this out? You don't have to. Here's the answer. You need to understand this. You don't have to do the 100% forever. You just need it to get to a different altitude and then you can level off. And then you can go back to part-time. You could put it on cruise control if you want to. You can go to the bathroom. You can have a meal. You can read a book. You can talk with your family. You can do all different kinds of things. During takeoff, 100% focus, 100% effort of the available time that you have, and then level off. Right? And then, if you want to get to another altitude, then you can go hit it again. Another 100% and then level off. And this is typically how it goes inside of network marketing, is take off, get to an altitude, level off for a period of time, rest, develop your team, train people, get, them, get, it, all, get it going, and then do it again. Even if you did 100% for a burst of energy. Now in takeoff, this is like what? A minute, two minutes to get it up there, use, use up a lot of fuel. Some people might say, well, this works so good, uh, this 100%, I'm just going to keep it at 100% throttle. Well, you'll burn out your engines, you'll burn up all your fuel, and you won't have a good life. So there, there's necessity to do the 100% and then be the, be the rabbit and then be the turtle. And then be the rabbit and then be the turtle. You understand? So quit making the hero out of the person that's staying on the runway for forever because the people would say, if you never quit, you'll win. That's a complete lie. I know tons of people who have been on this runway going around and around and around and around and around and around and loop-de-loop -loop on this runway, back and forth, back and forth. They go to all the conventions. They use the products. They've been hanging around. Their family is saying, what's the matter with you? Why are you still working this business? You haven't making any money. And you're just, you're, and they're the walking dead of network marketing. They're just like, I'm still here. You can't beat a person that won't quit. You can sure discourage them. You can sure frustrate them. You can sure make them feel bad about themselves. I mean, dude, this is no life. 
I'm still here, still using the product, still going to convention, still, you, you know, talking to people. I got a tiny little team of other walking dead people that are following me around the runway, you know, because if we don't quit, we're going to win. Not true. You can lose real bad, real bad. So I'm going to give you some statistics right now. And um, I don't want this to intimidate you, but I believe that the truth sets you free. I believe the truth sets you free. And I'm, I'm not going to leave you here stuck on the runway. I'm going to give you my suggestion on how you can uh, make this year the best year of your careers, the best year of your life, okay? Um, and if you haven't by now, put a comment or smash that share button. Let people know that we're doing this training today. Um, hit the watch party button, hit the, hit the share button, whatever it is, so other people can hear this. This is the most important message I have for the entire network marketing profession in 2020 to really kick it off strong. Let me give you some statistics on what the truth is inside of network marketing. Can, we, can I do this over here? Is we're still good? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this, this comes from big data inside of network marketing. In other words, all the people who joined the big data from this says 70% of all people who sign up as a distributor inside of network marketing recruit zero. Recruit zero people. They're using the product. They're kind of a glorified customer, but they're using it themselves and they just haven't figured out the skills necessary to recruit somebody to be able to help them change their life, okay? So 70% recruit zero at any one moment in time. 20% recruit one to two other distributors in their organization. I'm not talking about customers. 20% recruit one between one and two. This is uh, at any one moment in time. 5% recruit three to five. 3% recruit six to nine. And 2%, oops, excuse me, 2% recruit 10 or more. Now, <clears throat> <laughs> this are, are there things that we can do in order to be because some people are really called distributors and they're not distributors they've never had any intention of being a distributor they're just using the product you have lots of those in your organization I'm sure but the game starts here and the game really starts here you want to get involved in network marketing you want to make this a, a, an income producing activity you want to create a career you want to be able to change your life, create an income, whatever, you got to get into this group. This group. Okay? The group that's recruited 10 or more people in their business. Now, this group drives everything. This is the engine. This is the group of people that we find leaders and develop leaders from. This is the group of people that want to change their lives. This, this is the professionals. These are the full-timers. These, these are the people who really want to go make it happen. And I'm sure everybody watching this wants to be able to make it happen. So I'm going to teach you specifically, but let me tell you something about this 2%. This group recruits 70% of all recruits. In your company, this group is recruiting 70% of all the recruits. This other 97 recruits the other 30%. This group averages 27 recruits over the course of their careers. At any moment in time, they average 27 recruits. 70% of all recruits happen here. So if you're involved in network marketing, you want to have success. You want to really kick off this year. What do we need to do? What's step one? We need to get you into this group as quick as possible. And if you're already in this group, we need to be to refresh it. Bring in a fresh class. Bring in what I like to call the class of 2020. 
Bring in the class of 2020. So, <clears throat> in, the, in the big data kind of reports, they call these, this group super recruiters. I don't know if it's super recruiter, but 2%. So if, you, if you're not in the group, you gotta get in the group. If you're in the group, you gotta do it again. Go do it again, bring in the class of 2020. Okay? Now, I gotta tell you something. This, this thing gets me fired up because I've been training people for my whole career, but specifically kind of training the world for the last 10 years, 10, 11 years. I've been involved in network marketing since 1988. Um, and when I went back, can you move that thing over so I can uh, see what we're doing? Um, the other way. Thank you. Um, 1988, I got involved, and um, you know, if you're involved in network marketing for a period of time, there's gonna be some ups and downs. There's gonna be some things that would surprise you in um, the development of what really creates a career. And I like paying attention to what really works, not just what sounds good. And when I, I, I looked at my career as kind of like a case study, and I looked to what were the seasons and what were the things that I did that created the most results? What were those things? And I found a pattern that I'm going to share with you in a moment. And then I said, well, I wonder if that happened just for me or if it happened for other people too. And if it happened for other people, I wonder if that same, if, if, if there's a trend here. And <clears throat> here's the trend that I found that I'll share with you. Almost all of my success, and in, in, the, in the field inside of network marketing, I earned over $15 million. Okay, so I'm not just talking about theory. I've done what you've done. I know what it takes. I work with most of the million dollar earners in the world. I coach and mentor companies and million dollar earners, six figure earners around the world more than any other person alive. And I don't say that to brag, I'm just trying to make the point that this phenomenon has repeated over and over and over and over again. And I'm gonna share it with you. And that is, if I look back to what created more success than anything else, it was a time when I recruited 20 people or more in a short period of time. And when I really looked at it, it was 30 days. The times when I recruited 20 or more in a really short window, a burst of activity, hardcore, went after it, went crazy, most of my success was connected to that season. Crazy. Totally crazy. So, <clears throat> and I've done this probably, I don't know, 10 times in my career when I was in the field, 10 times, did a 20 and 30. I didn't do it every year. I wish I would have. I should have. I didn't. Um, but when I work with, whether it's top earners or brand new people, my biggest push is to encourage them to go do 20 and 30. 20 and 30, 20 and 30, 20 and 30. Okay, go do that. Because that's gonna create a lot of results for you. Now, <clears throat> why, why the 20? I don't know why, you know, I didn't know when I first looked at this, why was it always around 20 in this short period of time, usually around 30 days, that created all this results? Something happens when there's this burst of energy and you really go after it hard, um, the quality of people changes, your quality of your work changes, all different kinds of things change uh, for the better and you end up getting better results in a much shorter period of time. Um, let me break it down to you, kind of give you an example. Um, this is around the success love speed idea. So, if you got 30 days 
over here, and you have, let's say, 30 months over here, and you've got 20 recruits, okay? Same 20 recruits. You can either bring them in in 30 days or 30 months. What's going to happen? If you bring them in in 30 days, here's what's going to happen. About 12 of them, on average, will do something. You're going to think that you've got 12 lines of sponsorship. You're going to think, hey, i got 12 leaders. Eight of them are immediately going to go into the witness protection program. They're going to disappear. You don't even know where they are. You thought for sure they were going to do something. But 12 of them are going to do something, okay? But you don't really have 12. After 90 days, you've got about eight that look like you got eight good leaders. Okay? The other four have kind of faded. Looks like you got eight after 90 days. After a year, you've got four. And one of the four is doing 50% or more. One of the four is doing more than half of all the rest, okay? Typically after a year. And, and if you don't believe these numbers, talk to your upline, talk to your top earners in your company, have them measure this, have them see if this isn't real. This is 30 years of understanding what's going on. 12, 8, 4. And if you go out five years, you've got about two rock solid superstar lines. Two out of the 20, okay? 12 will do something, 90 days later you got eight. A year down the road you got four, one of those four is a superstar doing more than half of the volume of the other three. Five years down the road you got two, you really boil it down, okay? <clears throat> so tell me if this isn't true, if you've done this yourself, if you've ever brought in 20 and 30, I want you to answer two questions, okay? Two questions. Question number one, if you've done a 20 and 30, and you're following this right now, if you've done a 20 and 30, what percentage of your income over the course of your career, I want you to put a percent in the comments, what percentage of your income over the course of your network marketing career can you attribute to a season when you brought in 20 or more in a short period of time? How much of your income? Because I did it like 10 times over the course of my career. I will tell you it's 90% of my income came from those 10 times when I brought in 20 or more in a short period of time. 90% for me. What is your percentage? What is your percentage? Put a percentage into the comments. What percentage of your income can you attribute to a, a season when you brought in a bunch of people in a short period of time? What percentage? 90%, 90%, 100% of my income comes from the 20 and 30. So very true, wow, almost 100% from Troy. He's a million dollar earner, by the way. Almost 100% came from one of these seasons, right? Almost 100. Now, I could get million dollar earner after million dollar earner on the phone, and they will tell you 80%, 90%, 70%, 95%, 80%, over and over and over. Constant. Can you scroll up so I can see the comments, please? Uh, at least 80%, most of my income, Tara says, come from bursts. I've done it four times, but I think my percentage is about 50% from Sarah Higgs, great. Um, 70, 70 to 80%, uh, about 90%, 80 to 90%. I have only two team members, Lori Warren says, we're gonna help you with that, Lori. I did it once and it was 95%. So, okay. Now, if you do it in a short period of time, this is what you can expect. If you do it in a 30 months, same people. You're going to have eight that say, yeah, I'm going to do something. You're going to have four about after 90 days. In a year, you're going to have one. And in five years, you don't know. Same 20 people. Now, why is this? Why is this? Same 20. Same context, same background, same experience, same charisma, same personality. 
same opportunity, same comp compensation plan, same, same product, same team. Why are th these 20, if you bring them in, you know, one every six weeks, are they going to get this kind of result? If you bring them in in 30 days, they're going to get this kind of result. What I learned is there's an intensity. There's an intensity that comes and an excitement and an urgency that comes from a burst of activity in a short period of time. This burst of activity will serve you. When these people all come in, if you bring in these people, every, one every six weeks, let's say, person says, I'm going to be the turtle. I heard what you're saying, Eric, but I'm going to be the turtle. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm just going to recruit one every now and then. Every single one of those people feels like an orphan. Every single one of those people feels alone. Every single one of those people feels abandoned. They just do. But if you bring the same group of people in, in a 30-day period of time, they all get to know each other. There's some sibling rivalry. There's some competition. There's some relationship that gets built. There's some communication that happens inside the organization. They learn from each other. They're growing together, right? <clears throat> Plus, they're seeing all kinds of success because you're leading by example. <clears throat> you're leading by example by bringing in this whole class of 2020 and helping them grow together. Can you keep the comments up to speed, please? <clears throat> Oh, there's questions. Uh, can you do a 20 and 30 with your team? Sometimes, but it's not. Um, you have to be ready. You know, here's what I hope that you're watching this on New Year's Day. Uh, or if you're watching replay whenever you're watching. Is that you're ready. You're ready to go do a 20 and 30. You're ready to make the decision to go make it happen. Okay. You can do this by yourself. You can just make the decision you're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you at the end of this. I'll help you do the 20 and 30. I'll mentor you, coach you, guide you through a 20 and 30 process with something I've never done. But I'll tell you about that at the end of this. Uh, I think you're going to like it a lot. Like I said, I've never done it. I'm super excited to do it. But <clears throat> this, this burst of energy changes everything. 30 days versus 30 months. And I could give you story after story after story after story after story after story. Now let me ask you a few more questions. Am I capturing your imagination yet? Are you starting to imagine, well, what would it happen if I stopped being a tourist in network marketing? I decided to really go after this. What would happen if I really gave it 100%. What would happen if I hit full throttle to get off the, the runway and got to an altitude and I stopped crawling in network marketing? What would happen? Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions here. What's the value of 20 and 30 for you? What's the value? Number one. Are there any upfront commissions that you would receive from the products sold from these people coming in? Would there be any upfront commissions from the product purchases that people, people make? Take that times 20 and put a number in there. Got it? What are the upfront that you would earn? Times 20. Number two, any other bonuses? You'd earn times 20, what would that number be? Number three, extra customers. We're talking about recruiting 20 distributors in 30 days, but while you're doing that process, would it be reasonable to expect that you're gonna add some customers that say, I'm not ready to become a distributor, but I'll be a customer? Take those customers, and what would that earn you from those customers joining? Over the next 12 months, if you bring in 20 and 30 in the first quarter of 2020, over the next 12 months, what would that be worth? Just estimate. I'm not going to hold you to it, but what would it be worth? <clears throat> 
over the next 12 months. Lifetime. What would that be worth? Now for me, I can tell you my 20 and 30 experience was worth about $13 million. That was from me. I'm not saying it's gonna be worth the same for you, but you know, the top earners, what, what, what was, the, what was the, the, the burst of activity? What was that worth over the course of your lifetime and your career? 13 million for me. That was, that's a big number, right? <clears throat> Six, would you rank advance by doing this? Would it be likely that you would rank advance? What would that mean? How much extra would you earn from rank advancing? My guess is it would be very difficult for you not to rank advance if you did this. Number seven, would you be a role model? I get leaders all the time saying, how can I get my team to do more? You know how you get your team to do more? Lead by example. You do more. Show them. Think about the ripple effect of you being a role model and you bringing in 20 people in 30 days in the first quarter of this year and you documenting the process. Document the process so they can see it. So you're not just trying to squeeze all the potential out of your, your team, but you are going to go do it. You're going to show them. How many people will you inspire? How much more activity will you create? How many more customers? How, many more, how, how much bigger is your team? How many more people are going to attend your conventions? How many pe more people are going to rank advance? Because of your role model. You leading by example. You facing your fear. And even if you've been around for a while, listen, I, I understand once you've been around for a while, it's really fun and it's kind of sexy to work with the team, hang out with the team. And it's not so sexy to go get in the trenches again and go bring in a new class of 2000, all these new kindergartners, this new little team, right? You got all these kids running around with all their different issues. You're changing diapers and you're, you know, dealing with crying babies and they're waking you up at night and all that stuff, right? <laughs> but you want to give, it's either easier to give birth than it is to raise the dead. Instead of trying to raise the dead with your existing group, go give birth in the new decade with a new team by being a role model. Number eight. Prestige. Your reputation. What's the impact of you building? I, I promise you, you go bring in a 20 and 30. First quarter of this year, your company's gonna know your name. They're gonna hear about you. They're gonna hear about what you're doing. You're gonna be on the leaderboards. You're gonna be talked about. And here's why prestige is important. You say, well, you know, it's not, not about me, it's not about me. Here's why prestige is important. If you develop a reputation, a positive reputation, you develop some prestige in your organization, here's why it's important. Your team will be proud that they're involved with you. And when they're proud that they're involved with you, they'll take more action. When I built prestige in my career, my team became proud that they were part of my team and they started to want to earn my time. They started want, wanting to, to perform. They started wanting to get closer to, to uh, you know, my proximity, get involved in the inner circle, all that stuff. So, What's the total of just, and there's more benefits. What's the total of doing a 20 and 30? It's a big number, right? What's prestige worth? What's role model? Rank advance, lifetime, 12 months, customers, uh, bon other bonuses and upfront? It's a lot. It's a lot. Now, what's required? Here's what's required. What's required? 
And, and as I'm doing this, it's really cool. We got a, a big group of people watching this and more people are going to be watching replay. But before I get into the whole list of requirements in order to be able to do this, how many of you have already decided in the 30 minutes that we've been talking, how many of you have already decided one way or the other you're going to do this? If, if you're going to bring in 20 people in 30 days in the first quarter of this year, say I'm in, type I'm in into the comments, I'm going to do it. I'm part of this, I'm, I'm going to make this thing happen, I'm in. I want to see it. I know there's a little bit of uh, delay on here, but I want to see the comments. If you've decided, if I've made the case to you that crawling is not worthwhile, that this is worthwhile, that bringing it in, if, if you hate somebody, and you want them to fail, bring them in slow and steady over a long period of time. If you love them and want them to win, bring them in with a group of people in a very short period of time. Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? This girl, I'm in, decided. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Fantastic. See? That makes my contribution juices flow. It makes me really excited. Here's what's required. One, you got to decide. Make a decision that you're going to do this no matter what. Whether or not your team does it with you, whether or not your upline supports you, whether or not your family understands it, you got to make a decision. I'm going. I'm doing it. I'm not going to be stopped. Okay? That's number one. Number two, you got to be hungry. This is one of the attributes that I look for, in, and I, I teach leaders. There's two at attributes that I teach leaders that are absolutely necessary. A person needs to be hungry and coachable. Hungry and coachable. Okay? Willing, hungry, coachable. If you're hungry enough... See, I don't need somebody... If I'm working with you and you want to change your life and you want to bring in 20 and 30, for example, let's say I'm, I'm in your living room and I'm coaching you step by step. You know, I live, I'm sleeping in your spare room. I get up every morning and I come out and I, I, I wipe the sleep out of my eyes. I say, okay, what's our plan in order to be able to do this? I move in with you for 10 weeks and in that 10 weeks, somewhere in there, we recruit 20 people in 30 days. What I'm going to be... It, it, it won't help if I move in and you're not hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm busy right now. And if you're not coachable, if I give you something to do and you don't do it, I can't help you. You can be as hungry as you want, but if you're spinning all over the place, if you're a pilot that says, no, 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 I have my own, I, I, I haven't gone to pilot school, but I'm just going to go this way. I want to put the brakes on and see what happens and see if my, the plane takes off. If you're not coachable, I can't help you. If you're not hungry, I can't help you. But here's the other side of that coin. That's all you need to have is hunger and coachability. Because if you have that, doesn't matter who you know, doesn't matter what success you've had or what failures you've had in network marketing, it doesn't matter uh, your education, it doesn't matter whether you have a support system, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter what company you're involved with, it doesn't matter, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is that you're hungry and coachable, okay? That's what's required in order to be able to do this. If you make a decision and decide, now in a few minutes I'm gonna show you how I can help you if you want, now, if you want me to help you recruit 20 people in, 30, in the first quarter, 20 people in 30 days in the first quarter of 2020, I'm going to show you how I can help you step-by-step step create that process. But whether or not I do, I want you to make a decision whether you're going to get coached by me to do it or you're just going to do it, that you're going to do it. It it's just changes everything. It'll change your whole life. Change my whole life. I want, I want to tell you something. 
When I got involved in network marketing, I was nobody's prize. I was 23 years old, I was scared to death, I was behind on my bills, I was behind on my promises, and I had 18 jobs prior to being, getting involved in network marketing. At age 23, 18 jobs, okay? I, was a, uh, I have a 1.8 GPA from high school. I was in the bottom 20% of my class in high school. Okay, went to one semester of community college. Didn't know anybody, scared to death. And network marketing changed everything for me. Really, and no kidding. The life I live now, which is a ridiculous life, is a, is a, a reflection of this. I was hungry enough and coachable enough that I was willing to look fear right in his eyes and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I was able to look and see other people that did it and say, you know what, if they did it, why not me? Why not me? Why do I have to live in this life of, of where I'm scared of the mail? Because I can't afford the bills. And I'm embarrassed all the time to my family that I can't provide for them the way that I want to provide for them. And I'm embarrassed for the stupid, miserable car that I have to drive. And... The, the house that I have to live in. And I'm, I'm always kind of feel like I'm begging in, in the world instead of why not? Why do I have to get everything on sale? Why do I have to find the cheapest restaurant? Why do I have to? Why can't I just walk into a car dealership and pick the car out that I want instead of the miserable one that I can afford? Why do I have to worry about gas money? Why do I have to carpool with somebody else to a job? I just got tired of that. This was my ticket out. This. Face your fear. Lean into it. Embrace it. Just decide you're going to get better. You know, if, if you're not willing to face your fear, we're in the fear management business, just make no mistake. This is scary. <laughs> yeah, you need some coaching. Yeah, you need to be hungry. But this is still scary. If you've been involved in network marketing for 10 months, you recruited one person. Recruiting 20 people in 30 days is like, feels like recruiting a million. Might as well go to the moon, <laughs> right? But here's what I got to tell you. If you're watching this, how many people that are watching this have done a 20 and 30? Put I've done it in the comments. Put I've done it in the comments because there's tons of people. I've trained and worked with 10,000 people around the world to recruit, to recruit 20 people in 30 days. I've, I've shown them specifically how to do it. Put I've done it in the comments if you've done it. But this is necessary. This is the price of entry to change your life. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be peaceful all the time. It's not going to be smooth. You've got to be willing to be messy while you figure it out. It's not going to be perfect. You perfectionists have got to figure it all out. Look at this. Done it. 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 Right? Done it multiple times. I, I promise you, if you interviewed those people, you'd find out that they're in the top earners of their companies. Anybody that's done it. So, if you're a little nervous, I get it. How many of you would like me to personally coach you on how to recruit 20 people in 30 days? To per I've never done this before. My most popular course that I've trained for the past five years has been a course called How to Recruit 20 People in 30 Days. Here it is. How to Recruit 20 People in 30 Days. These are all the workbooks, all the transcripts, everything else. But in addition to this, I got to tell you, I announced something at the last GoPro Recruiting Mastery that I've never done before. And that is, starting this month, I'm going to personally mentor a small group of people 
who are ready to bring in 20 and 30, and I'm going to help them every single step of the way. For real. This is not just an online course. This is a real uh, group that I'm going to help do this all at the same time. Let me tell you how it's going to work. Um, first, it, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, one, live video training. This is going to happen over the, even though the 20 and 30 happens, I want you to follow this. Even though the 20 and 30 happens in 30 days, there's some preparation things that I've learned that are really important. And then there's some follow-up necessary. So this is going to happen. Um, it's officially going to start on January 18th, but I'm going to start some preparation before that. And let me walk you through. January 4th is preparation phase one. This Saturday, January 4th, I'm going to start preparing you because guess what? To, to bring in 20 people in 30 days, you got to get mentally prepared. You got to get physically prepared. You got to get emotionally prepared. There's a whole list of homework that I need to do. I need you to, to do some things with your prospects. Uh, a whole bunch of things. Phase one, January 4th. January 11th is prep phase two. January 18th is pre-launch phase one. And in the pre-launch, just so you understand, I'm going to teach you something called a whisper campaign, which is one of the most powerful recruiting tools I've ever used. Okay? Pre-launch phase one starts January 18th. Okay? You can engage in this prep. You can go with me uh, uh, over, the, over the course of two weeks. Or you can get involved, you know, people can get involved closer to January 18th and then they go through the preparation quickly if they want to. I would recommend doing it over two weeks. Um, January 25th, pre-launch number two. And then we got February 1, 20 and 30, week one. And we got February 8th, 20 and 30, week two. February 15th, 20 and 30, week three. February 22nd, 20 and 30, week four. And then <clears throat> um, week five, because it, it'll get to 30 days. February 29th which we have leap year this year, week five, and then finally, March 7th, the 10th week, is what to do next. What are you going to do with these 20 people that you brought in during this period of time? This is how I'm scheduling this. I've never scheduled it this way, but this is exactly how I'm scheduling this, okay? Okay. All this is going to be made available to the people who want to be coached by me. It's going to be in a special learning ses session. You'll be able to watch as much as you want. Um, uh, every step, step by step by step. So live video training is number one. Okay. Number two, you get all the workbooks that we've had inside of the 20 and 30 course. There's, you know, the whole, the workbook, the list builder, a calendar, the whole thing is all in downloads that you're going to get. So, in addition to the live video training, you get the workbooks. Third, how many people need a daily boost? A daily little voice of encouragement. I'm going to be sending daily video messages uh, over the course of this entire time, starting January 4th, for the entire time, daily video messages, not including these days that happen on these Saturdays, and these will all be recorded, so you'll we'll do them live, they'll be recorded so you can watch them anytime, 
depending on where you are in the world. But daily videos being sent out on all the days that are not these days to keep you in the game, to keep you focused, to remind you of what you're doing, why this is important, why we're all doing it together, okay? So the daily videos. Um, number four, live Q&A sessions with me. If you get stuck once a week, I'm going to do a live Q&A session with everybody inside this group. Um, now, in addition to this, we're going to have some student-driven content. Um, I'm going to be having students that have early results. I'm going to have them share like little case studies, how they got their 20 how they got their first five people, how they're, they're overcoming their fears, how they're doing these different, these different uh, uh, parts of 20 and 30. So we're going to have some student-driven contests, uh, uh, not contests, content and case studies inside of this. Uh, number six, we're going to have recognition. Not just from your company, but as you recruit people, we're going to have a leaderboard for people who are recruiting uh, people inside of this, this small group. And it's a small group, just so you understand. It's not a humongous group of people. If you get a part, part of this, you're going to be part of a small group of people that are committed to doing 2030 and want me to help them. Now, if you don't want me to help you, go do it on your own. Okay? And, and you can. You can do it on your own. I just think it might be a little bit easier if you let me help you. Okay? Now, people who achieve the 20... Now, Am I guaranteeing that everybody that does this program is going to recruit 20 people in 30 days? No, I'm not. You're going to recruit more than you would have, but you still got to face your fear. You still got to make a decision. You still got to be hungry. You still got to be coachable. But not everybody will. But here's what I will tell you. Every single one of you can. Every single one of you have the ability to go make this happen. And if you let me help you, you're going to move closer towards this objective. Okay, so there's going to be a certificate of achievement when you get your 20. You let us know. We're going to send, we'll, we'll send you a certificate, you know, a downloadable certificate or something. But also, some of the first people who get their 20 in this campaign, I'm going to interview them and have the interview of exactly how they did it and put it up on the Network Marketing Pro page here so the whole world can see. Wouldn't that be cool? Would it be fun for you and me to do a split screen interview when you recruit your 20 people in 30 days? Um, not guaranteeing I can do that for everybody, but I'm going to do it for a bunch just for the case studies and the examples so people can explain exactly how they did it. So it'll be an encouragement to the other people that are still on the process in order to be able to make it happen. Okay? So recognition is a piece. Uh, we have a special Facebook page that's going to be just for the 20 and 30 intensive boot camp. That's what we're calling this. The How to Recruit 20 People in 30 Days Intensive Boot Camp. And inside of there, you can find workout partners, somebody who will encourage you, push you to be able to do it. Some friends that are really going to be... It's a no recruiting zone, so don't, don't think that this is going to be a place where you're going to be able to prospect. It's not where you're going to get your 20 and 30. You know, this is, these are students that are going to be sharing insights and ideas. Got it? So... Um, let me tell you what else you get. Is this sounding good so far? Live video training. This is the only time I've never done this in 30 years. Never. I've trained more people how to recruit 20 people in 30 days through courses and live trainings around, around the world and encouragement like I'm doing now than anyone alive. But I've never done a mentoring program, an intensive boot camp like this. Live video training for 10 straight weeks the workbooks, daily videos, live Q&A sessions every week, student-driven content and recognition program. Um, people who get engaged in this will also get... People who enroll in this... I'll tell you how to enroll in this in just a moment, okay? People who enroll in this will also get... A GoPro Recruiting Mastery Ticket. GoPro Recruiting Mastery 2020. This ticket's worth 700 bucks. 700 dollars. 
Okay, I will gift you a ticket to GoPro Recruiting Mastery, and you can attend live. If you attend live, there's a $100 RSVP just for course materials and to lock in your seat. That's it. Tickets free, $100 RSVP for course materials, lock your seat in. Or if you can't attend live, for some reason you can't get a visa or whatever, we'll give you a live streaming ticket so you can watch it online, okay? That's a gift for people who get involved in this 20 and 30 intensive boot camp. Um, so this is starting Saturday. Starting Saturday. So what better time to kick off this year than this? Start now, let me work with you. Um, let me see if there's anything else before I give you the price and I give you the link. Um, The price for this is 20 and 30. Now we talked about what this would be worth, right? We talked about the, the weekly trainings, the workbooks, daily video, Q&A, student content, recognition, the GoPro Recruiting Mastery ticket, all of that. How is this gonna change your life? What would it be worth? The, the cost for this is $997. I've never done this. I may never do it again. I know that between now and the 18th, when it, the, the, the pre-launch really hits, this price is gonna go up. So my strongest encouragement to you, this is actually a bonus. These things are included. This stuff here, the, the ticket is a bonus. So you, if you're gonna be coming to GoPro Recruiting Mastery anyway, this, Compare this number to what would it be worth to bring in 20 people in 30 days if you had somebody like me coaching you through the process, okay? So let me give you the, a link. Huh. My link's in the comments, but I'm going to do it anyway. Forward slash recruit 20. NetworkMarketingPro.com forward slash recruit20. It's already in the comments. It's pinned to the top. You can check it out. Listen, if you don't have it, figure out a way. Get scrappy. If you don't speak great English, find somebody who is bilingual in your language and have them go through the program with you. Um, this will change your life. Your cable bill, you know, your cable, uh, watching cable television is not going to change your life. Going to eat at, you know, drink at Starbucks and eating out in fancy restaurants is not going to change your life. This will change your life, for real, and no kidding. You get all of this stuff, you get this, you get access to me for 10 weeks. We're going to dive in deep. So this price is good for today, and this bonus is good for today. I cannot promise that this price or this bonus will be good tomorrow. If you get to this page and this is still the price and this bonus is still there, then take advantage of it. But do not be surprised if you wait on this, if this price isn't higher and if this bonus doesn't go away. Look, I want to see you win. I want to do it with you. I want to crawl into the trenches, shake you, rattle you, and help you achieve what you're capable of achieving. I want to see you go across the finish line. Because guess what happens? If you bring in 20 people in 30 days now, what does your 2020 look like? If you do this in the first quarter of this year, what does this look like? What does this look like? What does the end of the year look like? What's going to happen? You're going to feel so good and so proud of what it is that you're doing, okay? Um, we able to play that video or no? Yeah, we got it? Cool. Um, so look, I want to encourage you to do a couple things. One, let me know if you're in in the comments. Two, go to this link and join this little elite group in this boot camp and let's go to work together and really kick off 2020. Three, share this video with your team. 
The more team members you get involved in this, let me help your team experience a breakthrough. Okay? And four, I've got a little recap video um, from our GoPro Recruiting Mastery event. It's never been aired. I just want you to see what happened at GoPro Recruiting Mastery, how we're changing lives, how we're doing it all together, and how proud I am of all of you. So check out this video. I'll see you soon. It's a new decade. Let's go crush it. Love you all. Check it out.